What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off left last time, we fought a, a absolutely enormous battle up here near Bengal and pushed back many uh, Mughal troops. So now we're going to do um, a bit of recapitalization. Uh, then we're going to start to push out and intercept some of these forces. Uh, you can't reach this force out there. Ready and you can. One. You've got some fairly knackered units. So you can uh, sit there and hold position. Um, the garrison near Darkot is repairing or replenishing and it is recruiting troops. We have men besieging Mysore. And I might actually see if I can use no you. Facts are nah, my currency. You've already been used hop back over to the US because um, I think I'm going to want to build up an army to start to knock out some of these uh, troops behind the line he'll recruit some infantry okay because I think right now we've got a good a fairly good base in India especially once we start to expand our we expand our uh, uh, capacity to manufacture uh, on the continent itself. So let's shift the East, East India Company. Ready and waiting. Still ship <laughs> They're all on this third rate. <laughs> all the way. Ships orders, Captain. Deposit these traps nearby our cot. I'm probably going to knock this trade port down actually. Because there's a chance that these guys raid the port anyway, and we lose that money. I mean, I know it's not a massive, massive priority. Let's repair that. Let's knock down this dry dock. You're recruiting away. Good. Then there's a huge amount that can be done, except for the attack on Mysore. How good in? You could you could do with a bit of bit of replenishment. Yes, my lord. You're being backed up by Seems one works. unit of infantry, so our replenishment looks okay. We've got a Swedish garrison outside the gates of Copenhagen. Uh, they don't like us one bit, but they should start to simmer down. Let's so upgrade you to a craft workshop, upgrade you to a boardy house. We do have a Swedish force here ready, but we've blocked their fleet in and prevented reinforcement from this stack behind we're building our walls and let's keep upgrading our military production capability in Copenhagen Theodore can probably leave England Forward. finally minus Mark. four Make ready. well down to minus one there good stuff um okay so there's a fleet gathering in Portsmouth that will be that will be perfect. Let's move. Sir. Let's move these rakes Your out yes, my lord. into Theodore's I'm army to bring them down onto the Indian subcontinent. Sir. You guys can continue to recruit, and you can recruit two more units of line. And then is that enough? Actually, let's get rid of one, and then that's one complete army done. Although we can get Shasa up yet now. We can get skirmishes. Should get some horse grenadier guards, really. Recruiting in London. Um, upgrade the engineer school and let's start building up a another army in Edinburgh. Let's get some dragoon guards and let's probably get some hussars. Two batteries of heavy horse artillery. Heavy horse, how, heavy horse how it says. And let's get a chasseur up yet to start being recruited up here. Good. It's not a lot else that can be done. Everything else is is being... Every, everywhere that can recruit units is generally recruiting units, I think. Okay, some Maison de Roi. And let's get some sepoys in there as well. Let's hit enter. And let's see how the AI reacts to our moves. It's 
said we're not I'm not overly fussed on fighting a war in Europe uh, the main focus is to continue busting through India well, that could potentially be advantageous to keep picking away well then again I suppose we've got we've got so so much cash that uh, pushing through Sweden is is still an option actually because we're on haha <laughs> they are actually attacking the city well let us defend against this Swedish force the population will soon start to well they're only minus one I think in the public order scale um, so they'll be okay with us next turn and then we can well first we destroy this force then we want we could just cross over and hit Scandinavia because we do have we have the money to, to the the required money to generate the strength needed so they're coming after us so let's drop our let's drop our battle line down you guys might pivot slightly there Good. Then I've got troops for one to cover one flank. Slightly weaker brigade on the left. But they're going to get the skirmishes. Let's group the cavalry together. We've got our one howitzer, firing carcass shot. Shine and bound, and they're all focusing on this unit of guns. Focus the howitzers to start dropping rounds on two. Do they have any elite infantry? It's all grenadiers, that'll do. And these units on the flank can push around, start to peck at the edges of their formation. Now we've got sufficient artillery, but I am content to just let them struggle. It's lovely of them to start to march up to the horse artillery, because we're getting some good hits, even on our misses. Yeah, it would appear um, that they have made a bit of an error in attacking our garrison. Line. Focusing on the Grenadiers, but actually killed a bunch of provincial cav all the way back here. So is the uh, so is the artillery. We destroyed one gun. Provincial cavalry is broken. Just from near misses. Okay, you guys are going to run because it looks like the guerrilla mercenaries might have something to say about that. Looks like they don't really want to push, so let's let's kind of put the onus on them to respond. What do we have on this flank? Okay, go hit the general. He's left himself exposed. Pivoting against this flank, so let's switch to canister shot. Pivot this unit of grenadiers so they get into the mix. Run the cavalry behind the uh, defences. There we go, general's been killed. The light cavalry chase down those horse artillery crewmen. Cressier take up a holding position. You guys start to hit the 18th. Oh, 
What's this one? Regiment of Line Gun. Crossiers hit the seventh. So then I can take these militia and run. Up the flank. Let's get my general out here. Shattered, broken, shattered. Some charging side arm to these spikes, some shouldn't do be too bad for us. I mean it looks like they are all They're fairly done for. There goes the 18th. So let's hold fire. Continue battle because they're on the chase down that militia unit as well. There we go. Come on. Do some good work. Get to that regiment of foot. Then go after that regiment. Oh, they're going to escape, so help these guys kill these chaps. General's done some good stuff against the militia here. And come and knock out the last of these grenadiers. Now it's all onto this unit there, and they've killed their enemies. Good stuff. They lost 100 men, they lost 1,200, so their force is gone. Hmm, the Swedish Navy's on the move. Ooh, the Mughals have sieged us in Kuttak. Interesting. Should be quite a nice battle. We were building walls here, but unfortunately they did not get, uh, get built in time. So we are going to want to maximize our use of firepower they do have mortars which must be it is a concern but that's why i'm going to use my cavalry as our outflankers to get out there and cause trouble Pine trenches. Now I have to do and on this flank. There we go. Then we're going to want to use our cavalry probably on the left out of the town. General will kind of be ready to meet them. Howitzers drop them down safe and sound behind the lines. Although the howitzers can't engage with quicklime. Who are you? Kizabashi Cavalry. First of all, we need to go sort out this left flank. Anchor yourself against these buildings so you can't be easily outflanked without a major effort going around here. Push the cavalry up. The mortars are fine. It's not great. Folks fire them with artillery. Might not do as much work as we would like it to do. Especially once the youth getting hammered. As soon as we get units coming within range, we'd focus our quicklime fire. Yeah, you guys trot up actually. If they're gonna walk into our line, you guys can get some good 
kills. Blast that you need recovery. Square formation. They're leaving their cavalry in a. They're leaving their uh, artillery in a spot that we can actually intercept them. Yeah, they're attempting to try and intercept, but it's not going to work. Start to quick line or very least uh, carcass shot the centre rush around and kill these guns I'd, I'd trade my I'd trade my guns for my uh, advantage in firepower, especially on this flank, because it looks like these guys are going to be free to engage whomever. can handle themselves. The gunners up on the ridge line over here, however, may disagree. Charge the Kizilbashi cavalry with my cuirassiers. It's focus fire. The mortars with my cavalrymen. Till they're shattered. And go charge the cavalry there as well. Gunners came back. Man your guns. Let's hope we could hack these chaps to bits a bit quicker than we are managing to do so. Looks like we need to get them out of there. Charge into the musketeers on the way back to our front line. Ooh, nice route over here. Can't take advantage of it, or can we? focus on that bow unit you two guys push out to provide a bit more of a threat to those forces in the field That's some good stuff these dervishes aren't actually getting into a good position to do too much damage to us Drop them into... no, don't drop them into square. Blast them with 
quick climb, little canister shot. There he goes, good old area of effect shot starts to come in. Cavalry's been routed. Bowman should wave uh, fairly soon. Let's charge the dervishes. You guys push down from the hill. These guys focus on just doing damage to these musketeer units as much as they can. I don't know how well they're going to do against the dervishes. I said they are going to do okay. There we go, we've hit the bowmen. Let's pull our infantry back around. Let's hopefully engage the general's bodyguard. Hey, they finally shot him. after the bowmen, lest they come back again. Field artillery, focus the general's bodyguard, probably with a round shot. 54th should be having a field day when they've reloaded. It's a great round shot straight into them. Any more guns firing at close range would be excellent. Ah yes, the reinforcements are here. You deploy into square. When these dervishes are routed, you guys deploy into square. All my artillery folks fire long range on the infantry and the troops that are coming in to join the fight. You guys get back into round, into a line position. Yeah, you guys focus on this bowman unit, why not? Just make them shatter and then pull back. Cavalry running to try and intercept us. You guys engage them with a charge. This square should hold against their cavalry. We've got fire by these. The regiment étranger engaging the Dakili. Right, yep, there they go. The infantry have routed again, as have their cavalry. Let's get my cavalry run in, to run in at the rear because they've got some artillery at the back. Pick new artillery targets. So, Cressier, go for the 12 pounders. Colonial Light, go for the 12 pounders at the rear. Fifty-eighth, staying in square formation just to provide some local defence against the Tuman. Forty-fifth, obviously, will be pouring fire into this levy unit. Carcass shot coming in against the Indian warriors. What a great hit! These musketeers are running back to try and protect their cavalry, their artillery. Sorry, well, that's not going to happen. My is going to have a great time with your artillery. I mean, they might get some shots off and maybe might make my men rout. But my guys are going to chase them down till they die. Oh, that's dodgy. Let's get you out of there. 
you can chase down that unit. Because the trouble is they're oh they're now routing over to the over in this direction. Houston Square, you charge my cavalry. You are good. Okay. great time killing as many people there as you can. Ah, you come over here and start to kill some of these routing troops. Oh. You guys deploy into square as well. Yeah, the 58th finally broke. Understandable. Do them any favors though. Far by rank of my men is just too powerful. Are well, they going to route? Probably. These guys are going to push up to threaten the last infantry unit. I mean, these guys are being bold because of pummeling bow fire into that position. So let's just uh, deploy some men around to provide some supplemental firepower. Cavalry is still doing some good stuff. Getting good kills before they leave. Where's our like? Okay, let's get you back over here. It's a strategic redeployment. Did that square unit is in square run? It did. How odd. Must have been from uh, the gunfire from the 82nd. You guys just stop shooting. Keep pushing up to force them no choice but to engage with us. I, mean, I don't quite know what they're attempting. Well, I think what they're trying to attempt. Cavalry's going to have a great time against the Dakidi. Curiosier's going to go after the Levy. Just all engage the 15th, I suppose. bring my general out towards the area of operations to get ready to chase down the 15th when they finally break and run. Oh, they're going bayonet charges, eh? Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, they finally broke. Probably it. Send my general to chase them down. Set my artillery to stop what they're doing. And let's speed up time. Because they are shattered. Come on. No, 
now get him. My curiosities can also come at him. There we go. That'll be another Indian stack severely depleted. And these are the kind of engagements that we want to see. Um, a nice, a nice simple destruction of the entire enemy army. 21, down to 9, 8, 6. Two left. Uh, this one was going for the line. But we've pushed them back for now. We need to get back onto our replenishment bandwagon. They, they lost 5,000 men in that push. There's, they're likely to do a lot of, a lot of uh, restructuring and reorganising. So lots of these units and these armies are actually in quite poor condition. You can do as much trading and so on in the distance as you like. Or much as much raiding and shenanigans as you like. It does not stop the fact that uh, Louisiana can't be stopped, won't be stopped. And that's all there is to it. They're doing some wetlands, wetland raiding. We aren't entirely secure yet. Okay, you can stay where you are for now, just in case. The Lord, they hide behind women's skirts. <laughs> You're still replenishing. As are you? They're just mortars and not very good troops, but I'm still not going to rush my infantry towards them. You guys replenish across the board. Sir, your orders. You guys are doing pretty good. Yes. You guys are doing better. Your humble servant. Throw. You're going to join Benoit Giro. Okay, let's make sure we keep up, keep our upgrades going. Good. We got our first Jesuit college built. Should help really speed up our conversion, although their agent is a cause for concern. Ah, lost my agent. Lots of raids. They're on strike in England, but now they are fixed. What I might do, actually, you chaps are going to hold. Hold, well not hold what you're doing. You guys are going to you guys are going to join a push into uh, Neroon to open a north western flank. Yeah, you're replenished. Your you Majesty. are probably going to go push in and hit Asfal Kachwaha. Yeah, their army is one of the defeated remnants from the Baghdad push. Not the Baghdad push, the uh, Bengal push. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time for hopefully one of these mopping up battles against. Uh, Mughal forces. Cheers, everyone.